was dark. I couldn't see anything. And I got scared because I didn't remember where I was. I wanted to cry, but just when I was about to... Mate, the dinner is ready! Slowly, I started to see again. And I felt better when I recognized my room. I remembered what Dad said once. How the darkness goes away when your eyes get used to the night. And went to the kitchen. Mom had made our favorite soup, but if I wasn't hungry, Mom told me to sit in front of my sister, who was happily eating her soup already. What are you staring at? I said that I wasn't hungry, that I had a bad dream and my tongue felt weird, but she didn't listen. She just looked at me with tears in her eyes. Staring like she wasn't really there. She had been really sad ever since dad went missing. Her look made my stomach twist even more. I am not hungry. You are so annoying. Just eat. I don't want to. I feel scared. She, she looked at me and then out of nowhere she jumped at me knocking me to the floor. She tried to force the soup into my mouth. Just before she could... <coughs> Marty, don't forget to eat your soup. We're playing hide and seek. Nine. You are in the bedroom. I tried to hide but couldn't find a good place. Eight. Seven. Finally, I got back to the kitchen, hoping my sister would help me. But she wasn't moving. Mom, something's wrong with Lily. I didn't understand anything. I wanted to help my sister, but first I had to escape. Four. I ran to the exit door, but it was closed. Three. I thought about jumping out of the window. Two. I went to my room and reached the lock of the window to open it. One. Gotcha. Just before the darkness closed in, I saw something. This horrible figure behind Mom. It had scales and smelled bad. After a long while, the creature disappeared too. Everything went quiet. Where was Mom? It was dark. I couldn't see anything. And I got scared because I didn't remember where I was. I wanted to cry, but just when I was about to... Mate! The dinner's ready! 